what's up guys and let's freaking go today we had a profitable week so we're ending off the week profitable i had spoke about that in i think monday or tuesday's video where i could feel that i would have ended the week profitable and that's why i'm gonna continue to scale this account just with these hit trades and just stacking it stacking it slowly sometimes we're gonna have big winners i would see mostly those in monday tuesday wednesday time and then Thursday, Friday, it's more like that exhaustion because I'm seeing you're not getting good moves. Sometimes you may get them, but overall, you don't get that nice clean move on Thursdays and Fridays. But let's get into today's trade. So today I had overall $24 profit. So Monday was $3 profit. 11 was 41. Tuesday was 41. <laughs> Wednesday was 52. Thursday was a $33 loss. Friday was a $24 win. And what I'm seeing, the strategy is playing out more. I can enter the strategy, get out some, and even let some ride. Even today, if I didn't um, let one actually close break even, I could have taken more profits, but it's whatever. So I'll show you the trades now. So on today's price action, I had a buy side trade at 6 a.m. So let's see what happened here. So I had a buy side trade. Okay. So initially this was a 0 0.1. And then I actually broke it into a 0 0.05. Took 32 profit and then moved my stop to break even. That's something you can exercise as well. The only thing I noticed with it is that price may come back and knock you out when you could have still been in the trade, right? that it's just it just happened so at six you can see i had perfect clean entry <laughs> stick with me guys stick with me like if you're watching this you can see i'm gonna be hitting these clean clean entries because i'm i'm seeing them now and i know what i'm looking for so <laughs> i'm telling you stick with me now is the time to stick with me and listen because i'm i'm there okay so this was the break even trade not much to show um well this is actually where my original stop loss was so it was a risk of about 30 30 or 40 so my typical so i had my risk below that level and you can see price never came back to that level for the rest of the day um the max profit on the day would have been a three to one so i could have made about 90 on this trade but I still closed it out, took some profits, took at least one hour off and wanted to let this ride. But the thing about this is that at 10, and I believe, yep, this is 10. That's when price actually came back and knocked me out. When you had that little 10 o'clock wick into the zone before coming back up. So that's just something to pay attention to. Price can definitely do that. And I see it do it a lot. If it doesn't do that, great. You have a nice trade, but overall, you're gonna get knocked out there so you can see that this was essentially one trade that broke into two when i took a partial here and when i also moved my stop to break even here so i took a basically one to one here right the next trade i entered a sell at 10 so i was thinking all right the market started being very bearish here so i was thinking all right you might be going lower so i entered on the 10 12 got stopped out at 10 52 when price started to reverse very very violently right so at 38 375 i entered and then i got stopped out at 38 460 total loss 2982 not bad so i was thinking we were down here so while we were down here i'm like all right we can probably go lower but if we decide to retrace, I don't want to risk. I don't want price to basically start to go up here before I think I'm out. If you start to go up here, I want to be out. It's not worth it. Like it's not a sell at that point. It can be a sell, but it's not a sell I want to be into at the very least. Next trade now I entered a buy on the 11 candle. And this is when I saw it kind of break back above this level. I decided to let it rock. And that's when it actually went up. It went up and then I actually took a partial again, move stop to break even again. And then that's when that one got stopped out. So if I didn't move my stop to break even, I would have been able to make a little more on it with risking the same thing. But 
just moving my stock to break even helps with my psychology at times. So this one, this one is where I took profit at 38626. And my stop loss was at 38475. So you can see my stop loss was there. I didn't get stopped out because price never came back to that level after. We are we've just been up and up and up. And you can see I have a two to one trade there. So where you can see where I got stopped out is pretty obvious on this chart. You can see I got stopped out at two, and that should match here. Because that's where in that wick actually comes down. Clear out your stop loss before going up. So it's not bad taking partials because you can still stack some wins right um overall this is a ict zone and then this is a ict zone so if it's like a kill zone that ict looks for and it's like you always see key price action within that zone whether it be this is the london session kill zone and then this would be the new york session kill zone there's this one. And then you also have another zone between two and three. So you can see right here between two and three, if you're able to strategically enter at two and three, you can see you had a bullish trade at two and three. Also at 10, you had a bullish trade and at two, you had a bearish trade, right? So that's something to monitor. Those zones are actually telling you a lot of things, especially similar to this. You can, this is what I actually noted as well. And if you watch more of my videos, you might see more of this. So we mark out just the ICT kill zone, right? Set at two to three. We're going two to three, body to body. You notice that the center of that zone is where the market actually came back to and closed. And I wouldn't say it's a, it's a coincidence. It's something I see happen a lot. And look at that. Price actually came right back and hit the mid like a magnet. Which is crazy. Crazy, right? But let's get into the watch list now. So kicking it off with our favorite Bitcoin. Not doing much today. Actually a little lower at 66. Let's move to the daily. So we're at 66.042. Tesla, where do you think Tesla closed a little higher? Tesla closed a little lower at 178, filling that entire gap cause there. Filling that entire gap. And if we go down to the one hour, did it react from that gap? Three, okay, nine, wow. So if you didn't get that 10 o'clock move, if you didn't enter on that 10 this is what I, I wanted the volume like this the whole time so that 10 o'clock move would have been the move the rest of it is nothing nothing but from nine you got like a 10 move interesting interesting the only thing is you can't buy options before market open so your price of concern would be 930 okay so I'm just looking at basically how this could have been traded with my strategy. Like just looking for a good, good move and good risk to reward, looking to get invalidated. So I can have a four to one, but I would trade this with options. So obviously a little more leverage. You can get a nice clean move here possibly. Um, if you don't know what I'm saying, you need to study more. Everybody here should know what I'm saying because I'm talking about some simple stuff, options, trading contracts, etc. So this is IMMR. They actually own a lot of the augmented reality and virtual reality patents. So it's something that I'm watching because they have soon sued Apple, Microsoft, Sony for these patents and have won. So they actually have something going on there and I definitely need to do more research. Bit farms here at 2.9, looking like it's ready to break above three. That's it, looks almost sure. I think Nvidia went above 130 today, which is crazy. That means that Nvidia is at 1300, bro, which is 
It's just astronomical right now. AMD. AMD, same thing as yesterday at 159. So underwhelming. Um, SMCI a little lower at 842. What's this now? ASML a little higher. Nope. ASML a little lower at 130. Eli Lily at 879. So still holding up that higher price. TLT, are you going up? TLT, you're seeing a lot of price action. And I'm wondering who is playing TLT right now because the Fed hasn't said anything. So why is TLT moving like that? I'll actually note that that's that is giving me flashbacks of SMCI when you can see it moving, but it's not correlated. But it's because people know that TLT is being monitored, right? TLT is going up, I believe, because they know people are watching it. So China front one run others others um nvidia still going bid farms want above three mmr want 11. everyone else normal that's all i have to say on today's one perfect and that's it as i'm saying this is a message to me and anybody that actually watched this video to the end. I am profitable. I'm seeing everything now. And you're going to see the account scale and do great. Pay attention. If you're serious and you're trading, contact me. We can talk. If you're somebody who actually understands, you can learn from me. But if not, you have to put in some reps, you have to make some trades. You can see every day I make at least two to three trades per day, sometimes even more. Once you do this that you see I'm doing, that's how you can become consistent and profitable. I can almost guarantee you. I've done more than 400 videos just of me trying to do this, trying to trade, trying to get it. And those repetitions really help me build confidence really helped me to build a system when it comes to trading and I can see it playing out better. It might look like a small scale right now, but these small things are what I'm using to judge how I can go bigger because a lot of the trades I can actually go bigger, but because I'm still scaling the account and just taking it easy, don't want to blow it. I got to the point where I was about to blow it. And then you can see I'm actually bringing it up. We can actually look at the funding clips here. From this week, you can see I started off slow, had a little bounce down, came back up, had a little down, didn't give it all back and closed high, right? For the month, it's been bearish. So let's see if I'm right. And if I'm telling the truth, you'll see this go back above 10,000, go to the next step and I will become fully funded on this live. You'll see all of the trades. So I'll see you in the next one. Someday, someday I'm going to take it to the level where getting such good payouts, doing such good things. I'll see you on the podcast pajama. I'll get to that billionaire podcast, get to that words of wisdom podcast, get to all of them, right? But I would definitely want to link up with my Jamaican colleagues who have been doing it great for a while. Very inspirational, very motivational, Pajama, Ashen, and um, Alston as well. Corey as well. Respect to all of you guys. Thank you for doing it. Paving the way for some of us to just be great as well. And I'll see you in the next one.